Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Brad. Um, I'm an alumni at Herndon High School. I used to, I'm currently going to uh, Old Dominion University. And um, if you're wondering, yes, I'm in a frat. So um, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Greek life process and how like today's theme is a new perspective. And I'm going to be talking about how um, Greek life is a good transition into college and how everyone, it, um, like for example, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Sunil and James talking earlier. They're my good friends back in high school. And people like that um, help people um, go through high school. Like it helps you, you know, through issues in high school, academic or, you know, social issues. And when you uh, go to college, you're in a whole entire new environment. You're not, your friends aren't there. I mean, you know people back from high school. But you're in a situation where you're wondering if you belong or not. And I'm going to talk about today about how Greek life is a great transition because they're an organization that helps you uh, come out of your shell and become more confident as a person. So initially, um, Greek life starts off. Today I'm talking about my fraternity in general. Um, however, sororities and fraternities usually work in the same situ uh, kind of manner. So my uh, kind of opinions on fraternities should apply to sororities, but I'll be focusing more on fraternities today. Um, so fraternities and sororities begin their process through a process called rush. The process goes rush, pledging, and brotherhood, sisterhood status. So rushing is basically when uh, fraternities and sororities have events that are designed for potential new members to come out and you know, see what the uh, fraternity or sorority is all about. Um, you come out, uh, they have events like bubble soccer, cookouts, bonfires, stuff like that, where you get to talk and meet people and uh, involve yourself with the fraternity and get to know what they're all about. Uh, for me, I, went, uh, I did a couple of other rush events for other fraternities. I did um, uh, Pike, uh, Teak, uh, uh, Phi Tau and uh, Sigma Pi. And when I came out to the events, I didn't really, uh, some fraternities are all about community service and some fraternities are about, you know, volunteer work, but with Sigma Pi came out with, uh, appealed to me was the diversity. It was a very diverse uh, organization of different creeds and races, just like here in Nova, or, or where I'm originally from. You know, um, some fraternities have, uh, historically black fraternities are mainly black, and a lot of fraternities have a reputation for being a lot of uh, Caucasian people, but this fraternity was very uh, diverse, which is what I really liked about it. So rushing is a process where you get to know the fraternity, what their message is all about, and uh, you get to meet the brothers and sisters of the fraternity and get to know them. And this is what really brought me out of my shell because I'm from came to college. I didn't really know anybody on campus. My roommate said, hey, come out with me, come out to see my Pi Rush events. And I met a couple of people. And I was so focused on you know, having fun and enjoying myself and meeting new people that I completely forgot about being in a new environment. I know that a lot of people in the crowd today are high school seniors. And it's important that when you go to college, it's like, how am I going to fit in? And this is definitely uh, some kind of organization that you forget all about being in a new environment. You just, you just want to be there and enjoy yourself, which is definitely what Greek life is all about. So the brothers there explained to me about how their organization is about camaraderie. It's very about cooperation, teamwork, and you know, involving each other, um, getting to know each other. So after I rushed them, they gave me a bid. So the, the way it works is for turning sororities at the end of rush, if they liked you, the sisters the brothers liked you, they'll give you a bid saying that we invite you to join our fraternity or sorority. Uh, so Sigma Pi gave me a bid, and as soon as you accept the bid from any fraternity or sorority, you are banned from taking a bid from any other fraternity or sorority. So I took Sigma Pi's bid, and that's where my pledge process began. So a pledge process is when you officially, uh, officially affiliate yourself with a fraternity or a sorority. And during this time, the purpose of pledging is for you to, uh, it's threefold. One, it's to learn about the fraternity or sorority's like, core values, like what's, um, was designed for, and also to prove yourself to the brothers and sisters that you belong in the fraternity, and also to build you up as a person. So um, what I did personally was my, um, in the, while you're, being, while you're uh, being a pledge, you have a big sister or big brother, an upperclassman in the fraternity, usually designed to help you get to this, uh, the process of pledging. And my big brother was of great help to me. He came up to me and said, hey Brad, we like what you're doing, but you need to come out more often, you need to come out of your shell, you need to be more open about stuff. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a good idea. So through the process of pledging, I not only found a place that I really enjoyed being part of because it was so diverse, but I came out as a person, well, I came out, I came out as a person like more uh, actively and socially that um, I, became this, uh, I became a more social person in terms of talking to new people, introducing myself, you know, being more confident. So defi that's definitely something that they help me through the pledging process. It's a, it's a process designed to help you, not to break you down or anything. So uh, pledging is also designed be, uh, to prove yourself to the brothers. So this would take place in terms of interviews, you know, getting to know the brothers, basically saying, I'm a, good, I'm a person that belongs in the fraternity. So you go on through all that process, you end up at the very end, what usually happens is the brothers and sisters vote on you.
And when they vote on you, they decide whether or not you should be allowed in the fraternity. And at that point, if you get voted in or you don't get voted in, uh, you become either a brother or a sister or you get uh, kicked out. So I got voted in and uh, I achieved my brotherhood status. And I'm currently a brother of Sigma Pi, so I'm actually like an active member. It's where you truly are part of the fraternity. And the whole entire process took about uh, two semesters. I just got initiated at the beginning of this semester. So uh, in the entire process, you completely forget about being in a new environment. And you completely forget about being somewhere that is completely new to yourself. That initial feeling of wondering whether you're not going to fit in or not is gone within the first like, week or so of being on campus because you're so focused on trying to prove yourself to the fraternity, trying to prove yourself to the sorority that you belong there and you want to be part of that uh, the organization that it's, you're, um, you're just forget about being new. And at the very end, which is right now, I'm currently a brother, you have a group of people that care about you, want to be there for you, and actively care and actively want to be, be part of your life. And not only that, but since fraternities and sororities are across America, I went to Radford and I uh, went to, um, to their Sigma Pi chapter, and I just went up to a brother and said, hey, my name is Brad. And he said, oh, hey, my name is, um, I forgot his name, but uh, he, just, he just go up to meet him, and he just say, hey, uh, give him the handshake and everything. And that occurs to every chapter in the United States. You can immediately go somewhere and be part of, uh, have another chapter of your fraternity or sorority and bond over that immediate commonality. And that's something that I don't think I ever found in high school, and something I definitely found in college to be a great experience. Everyone, you know, everyone thinks of fraternities just uh, one big party group and a uh, total frat move and stuff like that on Instagram. But people don't realize that behind the scenes, fraternities and sororities are not about that kind of stuff. They're about camaraderie and you know, getting, getting to know each other and like cooperation. That's the biggest part of being a fraternity. And I, I'm here today because I don't want that perspective to be on fraternities and sororities. It's more about us, you know being together and like struggling through issues together and being there for each other. So um, at, the at the very end, uh, the, the fraternity is a big part of my life and I cannot imagine college without it. I highly encourage anyone who is going to, call it, going to college next year or is in college still to definitely go rush to fraternity or sorority because it's an organization that unla it's unlike any other experience you have in your entire life. So if I'm going to end, uh, end with something right now, it's um, no matter the letter, we're all Greek together. Thank you.